Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Mr. KB. It is December 16th, 2014 and I'm going to try to bring you a quick unboxing because I like to speak and I like to talk as I do there of the PDP wired fight pad for the Wii U. This release of the PDP fight pad coincides with the release of Super Smash Bros. Wii U that came out November 21st, I believe. Uh, this is my first chance to actually buy one of these as I just got a little bit of money and this is what I actually winded up buying. Uh, it says here that it's compatible with Smash Brothers for the Wii U and it also works with Wii games. The style of the controller itself is in the classic GameCube controller and in my personal opinion the GameCube controller was a very underrated controller. Yes it looked a little weird but it was one of the most comfortable controllers that I've ever held in my hand to be honest. Uh, and the size of the box is just Yoshi, more Yoshi, bottom is just the barcode and in the back is everything as far as what this um what the features of this controller in all its different languages plus the two other iterations one being mario one of being peaches i believe this is the first release i've looked it up on amazon they do they do have plans to do a samus donkey kong and wario release of these controllers as well and those um characters um and those characters personalized colors are yellow, brown, and I believe an orange for Samus, brown for Donkey Kong, and yellow for Wario. Uh, a classic controller pro inspired by the original Nintendo GameCube controller plugs directly into the Wii Remote external extension connector. Works with Wii U games that support classic controller pro and internal virtual console games. Look for games with this icon, and it just shows a little icon here. I actually do have a classic controller pro but i'm not too fond of the actual size and the feel of it so this is why i bought this in hopes that it would kind of alleviate that so let's open the box and see what's in it all right so getting into the box there's no tape it's just really glued on the top so no knife because what will wind up happening in this i will probably just cut myself it's easy enough to take off just pop it open tape is not that strong boxing is simplistic which is okay for a controller. I mean, I really don't care about, you know, I'm not spending a ton of money. These retail for, I believe, $24.95 on Amazon.com. Locally, if you can find them, because these have been hard to find, especially in the Yoshi configuration. Um, they run about $25, a little bit more, depending on where you are shopping. So there it goes. It's pretty. And why Yoshi, you may ask, is, you know what, they, they call me that in high, in middle school. And it has always been a fond character of mine since he's been since he debuted on Super Mario World on the NES. Uh, and then it's just congratulations for your purchase of the wired fight pad for the Wii. Just instructions, buttons, pretty much just the layout. If you're old enough to remember the GameCube, that it's all instructions. We don't need those. So the actual feel of the controller. The joysticks. And the one key thing that's different here is these actually have dual analog sticks. Now, if anybody remembers the classic GameCube controllers, it had one analog stick up here and it had a C stick down here, which wasn't an exact mirror. The C stick actually was an analog stick, but it came to like a, a little nub of a point because it was really meant for just the camera. No other type of game actually uses them outside of 3D platformers, so you can actually control the camera. The buttons feel a little stiff, but I'm pretty sure breaking them in, they won't break. They'll probably just break in and not break. <laughs> there is a difference. Uh, the two on top, the R and the L, feel pretty good. Mm, these are spring-loaded. I believe on the original GameCube controller, they were membrane. But I'm trying to remember. Either way, again, something that, you hear that noise? I don't really like it, but you know what? It's something that we can probably work through or probably just won't happen once we break it in. But we'll see how it holds up. Cable, these are gonna be pretty much placed on your lap at all times. So it doesn't need to be that long. And all honesty, I prefer not to be super long. Just based that it's gonna be plugged into a Wii Mote. So having it, you know, just gives the Wii just a bigger chance for it to actually bust on the floor. Now the way this works is it has a connection down here. What you're gonna do is connect it like you will actually connect the nunchuck. 
and the Wii U should actually should automatically associate the connection as an actual uh, game pad and not a nunchuck. And for the most part, every time I've used the classic Pro Controller, uh, the official one from the GameCube, it's it's never given me a problem just trying to figure it out that if it was a nunchuck or an actual controller. It pretty much just auto detects. Seeing as this is an officially licensed Nintendo product made by PDP, I don't see an issue here either. Um, Nintendo is very, very stringent as the quality of the stuff that they expect from the third parties if they plan on making an officially licensed product for anything Nintendo. They are super, super strict. Back is a nice green color. Word Yoshi on the bottom. Has a nice color scheme. Um, yeah, I mean, that's all really I can say about it. It was a quick unboxing. I will give this a whirl. I will try it. I'm not the best Smash player in the world, but, you know, all in all, I could tell whether or not it, it, it's helping the game or at least not hurting it. And also, I didn't buy this to become better at Smash. I bought it so I'd be more comfortable playing Smash because, like I said, the, the Nintendo official controller, the, the actual... I got one. I got it. I got it. The official one here... It was just a little bit small on the back for my liking during long play sessions. I just, if you notice that this is a lot thicker, if you if you look at them side by side, and it, and it's just that narrowness on the official Wii that kind of hurts my hands a little bit. It plugs in the same way. There's no issues, no problems. So yeah, that was a quick unboxing. I'll probably give it a full review whether or not you guys should pick these up if you're not into Yoshi there's Mario there's Peach those have been very easy to kind of come by if you know where to shop if they carry one they usually carry the other and like I said there's gonna be a Wario Donkey Kong and a Samus version of these coming out in their respective colors which is the word I was looking for earlier but yeah that was my unboxing for the PDP fight pad for the Wii U and I hope that was somewhat helpful this has been Mr. KB and I will see you guys next time bye